The brain is the most complex organ in the human body. This three pound mass of grey and white matter sits at the centre of all human activity. The brain is made up of many parts that all work together as a team. The brain regulates your body's basic functions and shapes your thoughts, emotions and behaviour. Drugs can alter important brain areas that are necessary for life sustaining functions and can drive the compulsive drug abuse that mark addiction. Most drugs of abuse target the brain's reward system by flooding it with dopamine. Long term drug abuse impairs brain functioning. Drugs are chemicals when someone puts these chemicals into their body, either by smoking, injecting, inhaling or eating them. They tap into the brain's communication system and tamper with the way nerve cells normally send, receive and process information. Different drugs, because of their chemical structures, work differently. We know there are at least two ways drugs work in the brain. Imitating the brain's natural chemical messengers, over simulating the reward circuit of the brain. Some drugs like marijuana and heroin have chemical structures that mimic that of a neurotransmitter that naturally occurs in our body. In fact, these drugs can fool our receptors, lock onto them and activate the nerve cells. However, they do not work the same way as a natural neurotransmitter. And the ner neurons wind up sending abnormal messages through the brain, which can cause problems both for our brains as well as our bodies. Other drugs such as cocaine and methamphetamine cause nerve cells to release too much dopamine, which is natural, which is a natural neurotransmitter, or prevent the normal recycling of dopamine. This leads to exaggerated messages in the brain, causing problems with communication channels. It's like the difference between someone whispering in your ear versus someone shouting in a microphone. Most drugs of abuse, nicotine, cocaine, marijuana, and others affect the brain's reward circuit which is part of the limbic system. Normally the reward circuit responds to feelings of pleasure by releasing the neurotransmitter dopamine. Dopamine creates, <coughs> creates feelings of pleasure. Drugs take control of the system, causing large amounts of dopamine to flood the system. This flood of dopamine is what causes the high or intense excitement and happiness, sometimes called euphoria, linked with drug, drug use. Our brains are wired to make sure we will repeat healthy activities like eating by connecting those activities with, with feeling good. Whenever this reward circuit is kickstarted, the brain notes that something important is happening that needs to be remembered and teaches us to do it again and again without thinking about it. Because drugs of abuse come in and hijack the same circuit, people learn to use drugs in the same way. After repeated drug abuse, the brain starts to adjust the, to the surges of dopamine. Neurons may begin to reduce the number of dopamine receptors or simply make less dopamine. The result is less dopamine signal in the, in the brain, like turning down the volume on the dopamine signal. Because some drugs are toxic, some neurons also may die. As a result, the ability to feel any pleasure is reduced. The person that feels flat, lifeless and depressed and is unable to, unable to enjoy things that once brought pleasure. Now the person needs drugs just to bring dopamine levels up to normal and more of the drug is needed to create a dopamine flood or high an effect known as tolerance. Long term effects. Drugs can use drug use can eventually lead to dramatic changes in neurons and brain circuits. These changes can still be present even after the person has stopped taking drugs. This is more likely to happen when a drug is taken over and over.